Um, I've got many memories of the Odeon. Um, having been born in St Albans and growing up here, spending all my formative years here, um, I went to the cinema a lot. Either my parents took me or when I grew up I went on my own and uh, yeah, I've got fond memories of the place. Well it was the site of my first date. I don't remember who they were or what film we saw. It all seemed a blur, especially at the time. <laughs> Oh, I couldn't possibly comment on that. I had a double date with um, a schoolmate called Graham and two girls called uh, Susan and Gillian, possibly. We probably went to see films like Bambi just so we can be in a dark place together. I think I was, um, I was probably too shy for that sort of thing in public. And uh, yes, it was an entirely unsatisfactory experience on every level, uh, apart from the cinema, of course, which was terrific. One of the things I loved about the cinema was the actual building. It was a beautiful, magical building, and um, it was tall, imposing. And I remember as a kid driving the back of my dad's Hillman and seeing the names of the film change on a weekly, fortnightly basis. When Star Wars first came out, I queued, uh, along with lots of other sort of nervous early teenage boys on the street uh, to go and see it. I, I look back with slight shame now, but at the time it was a great, it was a great experience. That's the one thing I missed the most about all the new cinemas. That was fantastic, seeing the queues going around the block for Star Wars. Uh, Star Wars, of course. I'm a middle-aged man, it's bound to be Star Wars.